Hi everyone, welcome to this reading. I have my crystal ball off to the side, so I will be scrolling throughout this message. If you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different, and if you're returning, welcome back. You know how we do. If it doesn't resonate with you, if you're forcing the story to fit or arguing with it in any way, just leave it behind for the people who it's meant for. So channel members, you do have a collective message that posted yesterday, and it was made public today because it was voted to be made public by the magicians here during our live last night. Um, so everyone is free to check that one out. Uh, if you are interested in channel memberships, that link is in the description box below. Channel members, you also have your High Priestess card Major Arcana series video that's coming out. Uh, I'm trying to get it out tonight. The upload speed here is one that I'm going to have to get used to. It might not be until tomorrow morning, so we'll see. Um, it should be tonight, though. And yeah, so with that, let's go ahead and let's get started. So what I saw when I stepped in this space, at first I saw a torn fabric. And this fabric was kind of like blowing in a breeze. I saw the little tatters flying off of it. And uh, there was the sun behind it that would just shine through occasionally. What this tells me is that this collective has been through a lot. Uh, I saw an albatross, which represents for me endurance. The albatross can fly for several years um, out in the ocean, just touching down occasionally on water. Um, and it doesn't have to return to land for several years. There's this sort of feeling uh, as I'm going back just a second to this fabric um there is this the light shining on an ancient assignment a decree a vow something like that there's something that has set things in our life in motion that have been part of this last phase that we're closing out and this collective has practiced endurance whether it pertains to healing to building a life for yourself a creative project, maybe it's taking care of someone who can't care for themselves due to sickness or old age, for example. Um, but there's something that we're leaving behind that was part of our reason um, in coming here. Um, I don't know how else to put that. That's not exactly what I mean, but that's that's how I'm going to put it, because I think that that's a way that most people will understand it. Um, it feels like it was a big lesson that we were supposed to learn on some uh, on some level within ourselves. And so um, this is who I'm speaking to, this collective. Now, uh, real fast before I get to the symbols, because I'm being guided to give the symbols next, I'm seeing the albatross landing. And so that means that there's a sense of returning to land, to stability and taking a much needed break. Okay. Okay, so something's closed out. We're moving into a phase of taking a break. Uh, we'll see what's coming here. Uh, with the symbols, I see a white feather. Um, I saw an orange cat, a tulip bulb, an aspen, hemlock, sycamore, a gold keychain that had the letter M on it, a crescent moon, either a buffalo or a bison. I'm not too familiar with uh, either of those, so I'm not sure which one it is. And then violet. I don't know if it's a plant, the color, or the name. Okay, so those are the symbols. Let's go ahead. Okay, so again, we're taking a break. We have the four swords. This is healing. This is relaxation, rest. Uh, I'm being drawn to the rose petals that are around her. There's something sort of bittersweet in this rest. I think that even though we're, we're happy that we are getting to rest now, there is something... There's something occurring here that, I don't know, I feel like I'm trying to feel out the energy, but I think I'm supposed to just leave it. There's something bittersweet. Um, we may be looking at the big story, the big picture right now. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm almost seeing this as us, whoever this reading is for, looking back at themselves this way and understanding that something has recently been illuminated or that they've received um, more guidance or more illumination in this previous phase than maybe they realized when they were going through it, right? We're looking back and we're seeing it with a different lens right now. The planet Saturn has something to do with this for some of you. Uh, because I, I have Saturn right there, or maybe it is something to do with this Pluto Capricorn thing. Um, I'm going to say this just because it's standing out to me. Uh, I don't know why that's standing out to me as a serious B. Okay, and then we have stars <laughs> showing up. We have the Six of Inspiration. Uh, with the Six of Inspiration, this is really the Six of Wands. And so we have success over some sort of cycle. We've wrapped something up successfully. So this lesson, whatever it is, we've learned all the lessons that we could possibly learn from it. And we did it just in time, right? That's, that's a little bit of the feeling that it's giving me is we did it just in time. If you notice, she has this scarf and the scarf has those little fringes on it. And those fringes feel a lot like this 
this cloth that I'm seeing that's torn. Um, there's something about the energy from this last cycle that is still coming with us. And it doesn't feel like it's coming with us in a heavy way. It almost feels like this energy is empowering us for uh, the next phase. We're in a transitionary period right now, and it feels a little bit like the next phase begins in a few months. Uh, we have the Two of Inspiration, quite possibly two months. Two of Inspiration is the Two of Wands. And we're setting our sights on new courses, on new goals uh, during this interim period. For some of you, there was a huge emphasis on family in this previous cycle. Uh, maybe the family you're born into or your connection to others. Okay. Again, the world cosmos, this is 21. So this is uh, just like that wrapping up of a cycle. We have finished something. This has changed our idea of the world. Um, this is a long cycle that has taken place. Again, we have that endurance coming through. Whatever it is that we are closing out, it did change how we view the world. And not only did it change the way that we view the world, it changed the way that we view ourselves, right? These wings, they're made out of like these little fractally sort of um, <laughs> circles that are in there. There's something of a spiritual nature that we are now viewing the world through. A greater understanding of um, an essence that's running through the world. I don't, that's just how it's coming across to me. So hopefully that makes sense for whoever this message is for. Uh, I don't know why Alba, the word Alba, maybe because of albatross, but the word Alba is coming through. And so uh, we will take these two, but this is really what uh, I'm feeling here. So I'm going to pull this card out. I'm going to show you what this looks like. There is um, two different ways of perceiving things that have opened up to us. One is about our past. One is about the possibilities of the future. There's something about the past and the future meeting and meeting in the space where we are right now. And so this is telling me that someone is about to completely change their story. Uh, that's what we've been working on here. It does feel like while may, it may have to do with the creative project, it may have to do with someone that we had to take care of. At the same time, this was a huge exploration of self. And we're moving away from that energy of exploring the self um, in the way that we did. And now we're exploring maybe the world around us or maybe taking this newfound sense of power, this new found sense of freedom and using that to explore uh, the future. But there is this sort of meeting point that's taking place and we're walking on the bridge uh, that exists there. So again, a transitionary period is taking place. Now, when we look through this little um, gateway, there's a forest. And so there's some mystery that's coming. We don't necessarily know what the future holds. We just know that the future is going to be better than the past, right? Whoever this message is for, there's a very strong sense of that. We know that the future is going to be better than the past. Um, there's a lot of work that has taken place here, particularly in somebody's uh, root energy because of that red dress. It's like we have our foundation, we have our stability in order, and now we're walking into the future with that uh, element in place that maybe that hadn't been in place for us previously. With the page of voices, there was a lot of learning that took place here. And there's still a lot of learning that's coming. Um, but the learning that's coming is not of the same nature that the learning in the past was, right? Again, there's a huge emphasis on a perspective shift. Some sort of perspective has changed. We see the glasses around the eyes. We see the light rays around the eyes representing illumination. Uh, there's rosebuds in the mind having a different mindset about something. So something has definitely shifted within our feeling state, our mindset, our beliefs, maybe even our limitations. Because we've had this perspective shift the thing that we're resonating out into the universe has changed. For some of you, you're drawing people towards you um, that are of, um, I'll just say, a higher caliber than what you're used to, right? People who will go the distance with you, people who will support you, uh, who will treat you the way that you treat them. Again, uh, all the fringes, there's a lot of fringes in this deck. Um, there, some fringe, fringe is important some, for some reason, fringe. It may be um, that 
you are stepping into a more eccentric version of yourself, which I love. I love that because that means that you're practicing your authenticity. And in doing so, you're resonating something out into the universe uh, with this new sense of perspective of not only the world, but also of who you are and your place in it and how you deserve to take up space uh, that is allowing these other people who are kind of fringy um, to be drawn towards you. And this looks like something here where there's this fine balance that's being walked at this time. We have the Temperance card. For me, the Temperance card is interesting because uh, oftentimes the Temperance card is interpreted as the alchemist. And while there certainly does seem to be some level of alchemy that's taken place, um, the Temperance card is really one in which we see the angel, uh, it is the angel cameo, uh, is pouring the water of the above world into the cup of the below, meaning the external reality affecting the internal landscape. And that leads us to the devil card in the tarot cycle, which is um, the more shadowy aspects or karmas um, needing to be worked through because now that cup has been, become heavy, that lower cup has become heavy. Here, what we're seeing is we're seeing these lotuses opening. There's an alchemy that has taken place between those darker aspects and those lighter aspects within us. And there's this fine balance that is happening right now, we may be finding that there's this beautiful dance between our lunar qualities and our solar qualities. So the third eye and our solar plexus energies, for example, our confidence in coming out as like a very intuitive being in this new phase, practicing our intuition, um, also using our solar plexus to make the decisions of where we want to go and using our third eye to project that vision forward so that we manifest it for ourselves. Um, there's a lot of like like this very beautiful um, higher level of creativity. And I, I almost say hope, dare I say hope, that's coming into this next phase. Like I said, this all has to do with knowing that whatever you're walking into is going to be a million times better than whatever you've left behind, right? Um, because now we understand things. We have tools in our toolbox that we didn't have before. We have a different understanding of the world that we didn't have before. Okay, let's see. I'm going to say this with this card too. Uh, so here what we have is we have the page of materials. That's the page of pentacles. This is the beginning of something. You are still in this transition, but this transition itself is programming what is coming. And so uh, be very mindful of your thoughts at this time. Uh, I know that a lot of people consider the full moon that took place, was it this morning? Yeah, it was this morning. Uh, I'm sorry, new moon. It took place this morning as a very powerful moment to um, manifest things. And in reality, I believe that it's from the new moon to this upcoming full moon. And so use this space to use your mind wisely and to visualize. Visualize the things that you want um, because you are programming the energy that is about to come to you, that you're about to receive here. We have this beautiful unfolding of the mind that has taken place. And it's from this unfolding of the mind that something is now growing, that this beautiful um, flower is now growing. Let's see. Yeah, so definitely stepping into something new here with the maiden. Now, for some of you, this might literally be children, um, but I'm seeing this more like this plant has grown and it's opened up this leaf and where this leaf is now opening is this beautiful little fairy child. So there's something new that's coming. And uh, this, whatever the new thing is that's coming, this is something that we probably wanted for some time, but we had internal conflicts and internal struggles that prevented us from achieving this or, or receiving it. The reason why I'm saying that is because we have one and four. That's the number of the individual. And four for me is the number of conflict. So um, here what we have is we have the piper showing up on the bottom and we have two and four. And so for some of you, um, this has been because there's been an individual conflict, there's been a conflict with the universe allow being able to give this to you. Again, a conflict with our receptivity towards this thing. Usually these are things that are located inside of our mind or belief systems or feeling states, right? There's something about the song that we're projecting outward again that has changed. And um, this is a message that, you know, a very similar message to this has come out a couple of times in the last month. So I think that collectively this is something that we're all experiencing right now or many of us are anyway, um, there's something within our perspective that has changed this, changing the song that we're putting out there. And uh, again, with the topsy turbots, this is all about perspective, right? Okay, one more card, please. Okay. 
Okay, we've gained some level in the past, uh, whatever the situation is that um, has wrapped up, that has closed out. Uh, we had things projected on us and maybe we even had projections of our own. These are things that we've had to become wise to. We've had to look at things and understand what's ours, what's not ours. Uh, for some of you, this can represent uh, lusts as opposed to love. If, for example, your relationships are a huge thing that you've just had to learn a lot of lessons about. And the reason why I'm saying that is because that is actually what this card represents. It's projections, delusions, lusts, um, but also the orange within the within the oak man's eyes. He has a clearer vision about something regarding that sacral energy, right? So whether that does have to do with sexuality or if it is about creativity or the inner child, for example, and not having things projected on that inner child, uh, there's some sort of wisdom that we've gained. And this type of wisdom is never something that comes by reading it in a book or, um, you know, watching a good lecture. It's something that comes, it's hard won. It's hard won wisdom. Uh, this is the kind of wisdom that we gain by going through going through it and coming out the other side. And so um, whoever this message is for, this is, this is a good energy to leave this cycle on and to step into a new cycle with. Um, there is, I don't know why, okay, I'm just going to say it because 23 keeps coming out to me. So I don't know if there's something with 23, like, uh, I'm just going to leave it. 23 just keeps coming out to me. So that's, that's there. <laughs> 23 and 38. Okay. Are we done with the numbers? Yes, we're done with the numbers. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah, so just making sure those aren't 23 and 38. <laughs> that would have been funny. Um, there, there is this energy here that we're able to look at the wool that people may be trying to pull over our eyes now in a clearer way than what we were in the past. We're able to see something for what it is when previously we weren't able to and that may be what that grand lesson was all about. Uh, whether these are beliefs that we had about ourselves or uh, false identities that maybe people were trying to wear around us in order to gain our favor. There's something here that we're seeing clearly through that um, I don't know we were able to see before. And that is something that in clearing out that energy, that's going to change what it is that we attract. Again, I think it has something to do with this, um, attracting better people, better opportunities. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. If this resonates for you, please hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment. And until next time.